My guy friend just read an article to me. It was about how there was a study done on the gender pay gap of Uber drivers. And it concluded that most of the gap came from women not driving at night or in the very early morning. As soon as he said that, I said well yeah. Do you think I would feel safe picking up drunk guys alone in my car at night? Apparently, he didn't consider that. In his defense, he didn't really consider any reason why women wouldn't drive at night. But it blew my mind that he didn't have to consider that immediately. Not only that, but I know a couple that live off Uber. They have KISS. Who do you think cares for the kids at night and getting them to school? Dad. No. Mom does that. Dad is Ubering people to work in the morning and late nights on Friday and Saturdays while mom is on kid care. Mom mostly does Uber Eats. It's always so jarring when you realize how oblivious society allows men to be. A street pervert once catcalled me while I was out with a guy friend and my friend exclaimed oh. That sort of thing happens to you a lot. Huh. At that point in my life I was dealing with crazy street harassment on a daily basis. Hell. I'd been putting up with it since I was 12 yo. It was a deeply ingrained part of my reality. But this guy never had any reason to think about it until he witnessed it secondhand. Crazy. It blew my mind that he didn't have to consider that immediately. I've said many times that, as a man, reading 2x has been a real eye-opener for me in terms of learning things that women have to think about to be safe. I've been married twice and have three adult daughters. But none of my conversations with them have been as eye-opening on that subject as reading this sub. Thanks to the sub participants for furthering my education. I know that's not the purpose of the sub. But from my point of view it's a nice side effect. Had a similar conversation with my cousin the other day. He'd been out a female friend and they passed a new gym in their neighborhood. She commented she wouldn't use it cause it had glass windows that you could see in facing the street. He said he agreed. He didn't want people watching him work out and judging. She's like no. Not that. You have no idea who's outside and may follow you when you leave. He said it was such a light bulb moment. He's never understood what women were always worried about. But he finally got it. We had a young female Uber driver pick us up from the theater a few weeks ago Richard Thomas in to kill a mockingbird bird. Fantastic. It was 11.15 p.m. I Uber solo a lot so I told her to please be safe out there. She said she normally doesn't Uber after 9 because of creeps but figured a female 4.99 rated seeing a play was a safe bet. My husband big burly dude said well what if I had requested it? She said I wouldn't have accepted it sir. No offense. He laughed and said understandable. Data from New York City City Bike Program shows that women and older adults. I think over 55. Won't use city bike except on the weekends. They won't ride in the evening. And they won't use it for commuting. I think that's because women and people over 55, are prudent and cautious. This is an example of the difference between a wage gap and an earnings gap. It's wild some men don't think about this. My family just moved I was considering Instacart DoorDash while I looked for something more permanent. My husband isn't controlling at all but he was against it because of safety concerns. I was a little surprised that it was a hard no. I totally get where he was coming from luckily found something else pretty quickly. My husband and I took a couple of taxis recently. Both drivers, who were male, had awful stories to tell about drunk passengers trying to assault them. 
I wouldn't be a taxi driver or Uber for anything. Have him watch the 60 Minutes video on Salesforce gender pay gap. There's several things that contribute to the pay gap that aren't just flagrant. Hard sexism. They don't make the gap magically fine. Taxi drivers drivers for hire are 20 30 times more likely to be a victim of homicide than average. Strangely, looking for statistics about SA just brings up drivers charged, not passengers. But maybe that's because few women drive at night. Male privilege in action. I mean why would he? The only reason women drivers don't do nights or early mornings is because they need their beauty. Sleep. S. I'm a cis man. And just yesterday, YouTube Shorts recommended me a video featuring someone explaining this. I thought the reasons for the gap were obvious. Red pillars are running with it. Though. When I drove Uber, it was a dangerous town. I was not tough. Just more broke than I was scared. I didn't have to drive at night. But I'd be losing money to do it. That was the most consistent time of day. My wife said she should get an account and help me out if I was tired. And I told her absolutely not. For the reasons you state above. Most men have no idea how much risk mitigation women have to take every day. When I was in college my group often ran self-defense seminars for other students. And a big part of it was just talking about prevention and recognizing threats or dangerous situations. Most of the guys had their minds blown while most of the women were already practicing most of it. Even if they hadn't put a name to it. Did he also think that to resolve famine in Africa they should build better irrigation? Open mouth smile. Jokes aside thinking with another person body mind is difficult because normally we value things on our needs but come on. Is not tampon tax or recruiting bias. Will he drive a taxi in a bad neighborhood at night? Sorry for bad English. In my country. A 20 or so year old female taxi driver was murdered by her customer recently. X200B. It boggles my mind that men can be so oblivious to these things. Just because something isn't your own personal experience doesn't mean you can't be aware of it or consider another perspective. Hopefully your insight has enriched his understanding of the problem. After all people come from different circumstances in life and it is not easy to consider problems. Other may face when they are too far away from you. But hopefully by talking to each other and share our perspectives and listen to those of other we. Increase our awareness and empathy for the struggles of others. This is a perfect example of male privilege. Thank you for sharing. I was a Lyft driver and I was attacked by a drunk man after I asked him to put his seatbelt on. It was horrifying and luckily I got him out of the car and left him in the middle of the road in the dark without his phone or shoes. I brought his phone and shoes to the staff at the bar I picked him up from. It was horrible kicking him of me. Answering as a guy. It's a case of unconscious bias. And it's something everyone needs to learn to recognize in themselves. Without recognizing it and mentally acknowledging it. We don't get better about not doing it. If your friend starts to take a mental step back and pay closer attention. He's going to be in for an eye opening about just how much it happens. Man. I get nervous when my wife takes an Uber alone at night. But I would be way more nervous if she were doing the driving. That sentence never has a good ending upside down face. Some men just don't stop for a second to think how it's different for us. The point of it was that the amount of pay disparity due to discrimination against women was low.